Hello and welcome to the channel and hopefully you're all having a great day. And we're actually back for another video on the Eternals SMP. As you guys would have seen in the last video, we actually built this big house behind us as our starter house. And I didn't really do too much else really. I actually just did this little path off camera to something small because at some point in this video, I do want to build, well not so much build, but like do a heap of like farming stuff. So I'm going to bring this path all the way around to where those cherry, like cherry blossom trees are and, and have a few big patches of wheat and potatoes and stuff like that. Cause we definitely need some farms. I mean, we have a few over there, but they're, they're not really that great. Definitely not enough to get us enough food to survive on. Like literally all I've got is this 21 pieces of bread and a cooked pork chop. So the main plan for in this video will be definitely getting some crops built in over here. And on top of that, I do want to go for a mine because we definitely need some more iron. I've only got so much iron left. I think we've got like 20 pieces. So that's definitely something else we want to get into. Possibly do some caving if we can get across or come across some caves. That would also be a pretty good idea. But I'll actually show you, as you can see, I did a little bit of a sorting inside our house because this was stuff I mentioned I was going to do off camera because there's only a few little bits and pieces but I also changed the doorways in here I, I didn't mind it but like as you'll see over here we had just the normal doors going through the hallway like this and yeah I just I just changed it to the archways because I don't know I felt like it was just a bit more spacious being able to walk through here and we added in our little furnace room in here to the side and I've still got to make a few more chests along here as well on this wall but I just haven't gotten around to that yet but yeah I've assorted all of our stuff that we own at the moment nothing too crazy as you can see it's just a few bits and pieces really not much at all but yeah I think from here what we'll do is we'll go have a sleep and get some of our mining gear together and we'll start off by doing some mining I did put my bed up here as well but as you can see it's a it's a very boring plain room at the moment but we'll have to we'll have to kit this out a bit more at some point okay we actually already got a big cave off the side here just near our house which I kind of didn't realize it was here so I'll probably head down in here and we've got some coal here as well which I'm definitely going to mine because we've got zero coal right now because I used it all on our torches. In this video it'd be really good if we could nearly get at least nearly get a full set of diamond armor and then pretty much have a heap of farms. I think that would definitely be a good start to our farming and mining part. Okay well we've definitely earned back all of the coal that we used on our torches which is really good. And this cave actually is really big. Oh actually I forgot about this. We've got the mine shaft down there. I actually fully forgot to explore that. Oh sweet, we've got the perfect time to go explore it now. So I forgot about that. That was in the first episode. I remember seeing it and I mentioned it and I actually completely forgot it was there. But I've got like memory loss sometimes. Yeah, sweet. There's a big chunk here as well. We definitely need to get some iron back. I went through like so many iron axes and everything from just chopping down like a million trees just for that house that we're living in at the moment. This um this mine shaft looks really big actually. It goes all the way through there. It looks like there's some other bits over here as well. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to run around, collect a bunch of this iron and a few of these loose bits and pieces that are hovering around and I'll see you once we get over to the mine shaft. I am definitely going to be stealing all of these rails. You never know when you're going to need them. Oh no, that's not good. I was literally thinking it before. I was like, there's going to be poisonous spiders somewhere around here. We'll just box ourselves in here for a moment. Let's get our hearts back up. Too close for comfort, that one. Man, I should have actually made another sword. I didn't really think about that because I think I think this sword's going to break by the time we get through here. Okay, that looks like a, we've got a spider spawner down in there, which is pretty good. Oh, some lapis. Don't mind if I do. So we're only on minus three at the moment. So we've still got a little bit deeper we can go until we get a bit closer to the diamond level. Oh, Actually, speaking of diamond, oh sweet, let's see how many pieces we got. We've got eight at home. Okay, we got five in that. So we've got 13 all up. So we need about 20, I think it was 24 for a full set of diamond armor. Oh sweet, more, oh man. We got more diamond. This cave's actually working out all right. I definitely prefer caving over like strip mines, that's for sure. Oh, okay, yeah, that does look nasty down there. Some of you guys must think I'm just an absolute pussy, but I mean, uh, yes, but <laughs> yes and no. Just if I had, if I had a lot of good gear on me where I felt a bit confident, I probably would, but I just, I'm not in the mood to go fighting any bosses yet. Wait, okay, we got 11 now. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some more diamond around here somewhere. Oh, okay, we got some gold up there as well. I didn't see that. Man, there's no way I'm going to be exploring this whole place. Like, there's just, this place is actually that big. Oh, hello. Oh, sweet, we found some more diamond. I wasn't actually going to check in this little bit either. Ah, damn it. It's only one piece. Ah, spewing. Still better than nothing. Yeah, we're definitely finding a bunch of iron, which is really good. We've already got like a stack and a half of it. Oh, sweet, we got 30 enchant now. We can go enchant something soon. I think I'm going to have to head back up anyway, so I'm going to go make a few more pickaxes, and I definitely need some more torches as well. As well. So I'll see you guys once we get back up to the house. 
Alrighty, so we found a bunch of coal, which is really good. So we'll smelt down everything that we've got so far. And actually, I might take some of this coal out because I need to make some torches as well, actually. Okay, so we've got 20 diamonds. So I'm pretty confident we'll get a full set of diamond armor in this one, which is pretty good. Okay, so before we go back down, I'm just going to make ourselves a chest plate quickly. I'm not going to wear this stuff yet, but I just want to start putting it together while we're up here. Sweet, and we've got the achievement for that as well um okay so there's one place i want to quickly visit before we go back down there so i'll see you in a minute okay so we're just paying mikey's house a little visit here i do think he's actually got a enchanting room um somewhere in here because we actually don't have one yet and i'm sure he won't mind if we use it if not you guys saw nothing um actually maybe it's upstairs i know he's got one here somewhere oh here it is okay let's see if we can get something good here Oh, protection. Oh, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, it's not too bad. We've got Unbreaking 3 on it as well. Anyway, I'll see you guys back down in the mines. Oh, and one last thing before we actually get back down to the caves. Thanks to Gajo, he actually gave us a horse that was on his land and actually hooked us up with a saddle and diamond armor as well. In case you were wondering how I got that, but yeah, what a legend. He actually hooked us up with a horse and armor and everything. So we got a horse now. I'm still yet to name it, though we'll have to think of some names. Yeah, we've definitely got a lot of spider spawners in this mine shaft here, actually. But kind of want to get into a spot where maybe I'm probably gonna have to do it over here, like get into deeper parts of the mine shaft, unless it's one that's just a really bad mine shaft. But it just looks really big. I feel like there's more to it. Yeah, I'm actually starting to get a vibe that this is not actually a great mine shaft, to be honest. Like anywhere I'm running with this mine shaft is just leading to dead ends, or it's just already above ground with like no loot chests in them or anything, which is gonna really suck if that's the case. So we've got a fair bit we could explore down there. I mean, this mine shaft all through here is looking not good at all. It just looks very boring besides just a heap of spider spawners. Oh, I'm going to mine this coal, do a bit more exploring and I'll keep these up to date if we find anything interesting. Yeah, we're getting a lot of armored up zombies in here. Oh, sweet. We actually found some diamond. I was sitting here mining a big chunk of this iron. I was like, man, this iron's gone for a while. And yeah, we found some diamond and Oh, actually, what do we got here? Oh, it's a amethyst. Um, oh, I forgot the actual name for them. Those, these. Am oh my god, I can't even say it properly. <laughs> That's embarrassing. But yeah, you, you know what this is. Oh, we can't pick up the diamond. There we go. Sweet. I'm going to collect a stack of the ameth amethyst. Oh my god, why is it so hard to say? And the calcite. And once we've got a stack of each, I'll continue with the mining. Okay, sweet. So we've collected enough of that stuff now. So I think we need to try and get a bit deeper if we can. I really, I'm wanting to get, what are we on now? We're on my... Oh, hello, some more diamond. I was literally about to say we're on minus like, what, uh, 15 at the moment. So it's it's deep, but not deep enough for diamond. But I guess for here it is. That's pretty good. We've got five now. So we've actually got enough for a full set of diamond armor, which is good. Probably try and get it enchanted as well if we can. So we've found another big cave through here, which seems to be a bit deeper. I'm definitely going to be exploring this, but I'm just going to get around these guys first. Oh, sweet, more diamond. Hell yes. And there's some more up there as well. Okay, we've, we've definitely found a pretty good cave here. Okay, well, we made it down, but oh, it's not looking good. Oh, great. Oh, this is really not good. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just stay in here and regen again. Oh, what the hell? I, just, I was literally just... We just found some diamond. How good's that? Literally just sitting here trying to, like, defend myself and get my hunger back up, and I bumped into some diamond. The chances of that. Oh, it's a big piece, too. I'm just going to have to, like, rush down here in a minute, and I'm just going to build myself a little bunker in here again, because I'm not going to be able to beat all of them. We'll just lure them over here and kill them all, and then we'll get that diamond. Okay, we'll quickly mine this. Okay, they're only zombies. They're not too bad. The skeletons are the ones that are a pain. Oh, no way. There's actually some more diamond here. Yeah, there's a lot of diamond in this cave. Okay, I'm just going to do a big sprint way out through here, where there doesn't seem to be too many mobs at the moment. So I want to get near this, this lava pool over here, because you normally find a bunch of diamonds around these sort of areas oh no there we go some more diamonds sweet i had a feeling there'd be some over here so that's pretty much everything over here now we've got a bit of redstone up there but i'm just gonna leave that because we've got so much of that at the moment oh well there you go more diamond i didn't even see that before can't believe i just ran straight past that oh man this is a big chunk too well, that's good we'll be able to make some tools possibly out of the amount we've got now well we've kind of explored a lot of this now I'll just chuck some torches across the ground over here and see if we've missed anything important that's in the ground that we might have missed but other than that i think i think I think we've kind of done a pretty good sweep on this place or a reasonable one at least oh yes we got a chainmail chest plate oh sweet i think we'll head back up now pretty much cleaned all this out it's a shame this mine shaft was pretty dead though i was hoping we could have actually found some pretty decent stuff in it Alrighty, sweet. So while all that's smelting down, we'll make our diamond armor and we can actually enchant two pieces now. So I'm going to go and pay Mikey's a quick visit and enchant our two other pieces of diamond armor. 
So I think it's only fair considering we're actually using his enchanting table. I might just sit this little chest in here and I'm going to chuck a little diamond in there for him. I feel like I should probably give something back. Oh, okay. Protection three again. Not bad. Oh, and I'm breaking. That's all right. The boots are pretty rubbish. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm not. Not too keen on the boots. That'll have to be one thing soon that we'll have to work on is getting ourselves and then our own enchanting room and that. We only need three more levels and then we can get our last piece of the diamond armor finished. And then we're fully suited, which is pretty good. So just to help us get a little bit more XP, I'm probably just going to run over to our farm over here, our, our sheep farm. Because we're not really using that carpet anymore for the time being, I'm going to kill off a few sheep because at some point we're going to somehow get them all the way over to here on this mountain. And that'll probably happen once... I at some point build a big bridge across here and we definitely need some food as well oh i think we're finally gonna get 30 oh sweet finally took a minute Alrighty, so we've got all our armor now and i'm pretty much just gonna chuck on what we've got for the time being and pretty much head back over to mikey's place do our last enchantment and then we've got our full set on Alrighty, let's see what we can get on this oh yes protection four it would have been even better if we had the right unbreaking three on it but that'll still do we've got our full set of diamond armor now and i'll see you guys back at the house so now that we've got our full set of diamond armor i'm actually going to put an armor stand in here and same as over here and we're going to hang up our first set that we ever actually got on the server so it'll be a good little piece of decoration in here and there we go and we'll chuck these on one of those other armor stands because i'm not going to realistically i'm not going to be wearing these anyway oh that looks all right good little addition into the house so now onto the farming part that we we're talking about before i'm going to fill in here with wheat and then probably around in here but I want to leave the side of the house here a bit because one of the other guys on the server mentioned a pretty good idea about building basically a horse stable off the side of it, which I think was a pretty good idea. That'll be something we'll probably add in at some point later on. But for now, I've got this pathway that comes around just here and I'm just going to continue this around there and get some, probably some potatoes growing through here and get some wheat growing. So I think I'll probably turn this into a small time lapse. So I'll see you in a bit. So we've got a bit more put down now and I'm just having a look at it and I'm thinking we've probably got enough for the time being. So from now, I kind of want to build a horse stable up on here because I've noticed that if we keep going through here, we're going to like, I feel like we're going to push ourselves away from the building. We're going to push ourselves like through here with these paths. And as you can see here, I feel like I've gotten a little bit carried away. Like We can move it back, but... I don't want a really big stable, so I think just through here will be the perfect size because we've definitely got enough growing through here at the moment. Safe to say we're not running short on any wheat anytime soon. So I think for now, what we'll do is we'll build a whole stable on here. Nothing too big and crazy. I've still got to go collect a few materials. I've actually got a fair bit to collect now that I think about it because I've got like no logs or anything like that. So I think for the moment, I'm going to go and collect a bunch of materials and I'll see you after the time lapse. Alrighty guys, and that is our stable all finished. I reckon it's turned out really well. I've tried to add in like a bit of gravel and cobble, a bit of a different sort of path area through here. So we've got three stables here, which I think is plenty because we're not going to have a heap of horses. I think 
three at like max. So not only have we just done this, I also decided to curl this path all the way around to our back door out here because out here was looking a bit dead. Like it just had no life or no sort of pathways or anything like that. So I decided to add in a bit of wheat and a few more potatoes in here. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good actually. It's getting there slowly. So yeah, and that is everything that we've built in this one. So that is going to be a wrap and hopefully we can get up to some other good things in the next episode or two, like an adventure or something i think that'll be a plan because we haven't really gone on one on this server yet so i think i think that's what we'll end up doing but anyways guys as always i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one see ya